It is That's the Boot Guy where you guys get to ask me questions about workwear, footwear, and just things like that in general that pertain to the Boot Guy Reviews channel. All right. So today's question comes from a gentleman who calls himself on YouTube, Brooke Ashbrook. Sorry, Brooks Ashbrook. Don't know if it's his real name. Doesn't really matter. He's got a really good question. He's got a question that I get asked a lot in public and just from guys after they leave shops. So the question is this, what in the world is so special about a heritage type boot that justifies the price? Question mark, it's a great question. I just don't get it, he says. So, Brooks, well let's really look at this. So I get asked this question from guys after they leave the Red Wing shops or after they leave one of the other shops that sells types of heritage boots or just high-end boots. And their main question is, and the type of person asking me this, is guys that work for a living because they've just looked at spending 300 bucks on a pair of work boots that's going to make them money. And then they look at these heritage boots and they think, well, these boots really don't make me any money because they're just for after work. So why should I spend so much money on it? And I'm with you. I mean, if it's not your thing, I can understand not spending the money on a pair of boots. Maybe you want to buy yourself a... Um, a new muzzle for a rifle you're building. Maybe you want to buy yourself a collection of magazines. And I mean, you know, magazines for bullets or magazines like vintage Playboy or vintage hot rod magazines. I can understand that. I can understand that your money is important and what you do in order to enjoy things is important. And that's really where the philosophy boils down to on spending the money on the boots. Now, justification of spending the money on a pair of $300 handmade, American-made, made by union worker boots, well, I don't think I need to justify that. I think that that statement justifies it enough that they're made in America, they're made by Americans, so on and so forth. A lot of people will spend upwards of $200 on a pair of sneakers, a pair of Nikes, but at the same time, those people are not wearing boots. So it's really about one wanting to spend the money. I don't think we should sell heritage boots any cheaper, even though there are cheaper knockoffs that are coming out every single day. I don't think that we should be putting our money there. Um, imports and stuff like that, I don't think that's a great idea. I think we should really keep the heritage type and the handmade market that follow along the same lines as classic American made boots from the turn of the century, from the 40s, from the 50s. I think we should keep those boots in a higher caliber and a higher price range. And I do believe that the quality and materials should follow. If we're gonna make something that costs 300 bucks, we should use the best soles, the best threads, the best machines to build it, the best labor to build it, plus the best leathers. All that should be, that should be a no-brainer. That should just be a given when it comes to that. So Brooks, I hope this answers your question. I hope uh, I shed a little light on it. Guys, if you've got any better answers, please comment below and just let them know what your feelings are on why a pair of Heritage Boots is worth the $300 price tag. All right, this is Ask the Boot Guy where you guys get to ask me questions about footwear, workwear, questions of, yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. You know it helps out. And also follow me on Instagram. If you're an Instagram subscriber, find me out there. If not, look below in the links below. I'll have a link to that. Also check out my Patreon page where you can support me. Remember, coming into a new year, this is going to be 2019. Throw me 12 bucks at the beginning of the year means a dollar a month. And if I can get enough of you guys to do it, I can actually get a lot more different types of videos made about boots, about work gear, because now I'll have resources in order to do so. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.